What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one, all right? Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so the game that you're watching right now is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, and it's being played on the stadium platform. And what I want to do for, for, you know, transitioning from 2019 to 2020 is I want to address a lot of the myths that we hear about Stadia, how poor it performs and all of this stuff. And here's what I did here. On this particular video, this is my second Stadia video. On my first Stadia video, I played Destiny 2 on there. And I showed how Destiny 2 on Stadia via a web browser performs so much better on a web browser than it does on the most powerful console, which is the Xbox One X, all right? And I did so to display, to slay a lot of myths, right? So what I did to be even more fair <laughs> to the most powerful console is I've unpacked Chrome Canary. And for those of you that are not familiar with Chrome Canary, Chrome Canary is a beta web browser. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a dev web browser. And even when you download the app, it says unstable, right? So I'm playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which is a very resource heavy game on a very unstable web browser at 60 frames per second, right? The top resolution given uh, that Stadia provides, okay? And I don't have all the Bibblewatts information for me and all that other stuff, but as you can see via the screen, it has good fidelity and it has great frame rate, but uh, Chrome Canary is very unstable. So you see a little couple of judders here and there, but again, I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to play Stadia in the least optimal settings and it still debunks a lot of the myths that you're hearing from people out in the outrage culture. So I wanted to display this for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To, to, to calm down the idiot herd and also to inform you all the way around and address some of these bigger myths that you hear uh, in regards to the platform. So first and foremost, Stadia has bad performance. All right. Well, again, as you can see, it performs at 60 frames per second more consistently to current consoles, even on the stuttery, unstable Chrome Canary, <laughs> okay? Chrome Canary is not designed, was not, is not optimized for Stadia and it's still performing better than consoles, okay? And it has better fidelity, Stadia that is, than most of the consoles out there, which are, we gotta keep it real here, which are your PlayStation 4 Slims and your Xbox One S's. Those are most of the consoles out there. And even if you want to consider the Switch a console, let's throw the Switch in there too, okay? So Stadia has better fidelity than most of the consoles out there, all right? Now, as far as optimization, it's best on a Chromecast and it's best through a wired ethernet. Now, why do I bring it up? Why we got to go there? Because you get a lot of people that'll want to bring up Xbox One X, the most powerful console in the world, and its most optimized environments. They want to use an OLED and uh, um, uh, displays with um, low response time and all this stuff, right? They want to do all that, but they don't want to do the same for Stadia. They don't want to talk about Stadia and its optimal settings. And I'm here to let you know that to get the best optimal settings from Stadia, I'm trashing this game. To get the best optimal settings from this from Stadia, you want to put it on a Chromecast. You want to use a wired Ethernet, but you don't have to play that way. As you see here, I'm playing on a browser. You can play via Wi-Fi if you want to. But if you want the optimal performance, there is a way to get better performance than what a lot of the outrage culture are telling you about. And they're lying to you about, in most cases, but again, they're not tell, talking to you about Stadia in the most optimal, optimal settings. Okay, so that's myth number one that Stadia has bad performance. As I'm showing you on a buggy <laughs> web browser 
that it performs at a better frame rate, has better fidelity than you, most of the consoles out there, right? Next, state that requires top tier internet. Okay, so this is where we're gonna com we're gonna com be completely transparent here. Stadia, if if you play games a lot, you 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 can't be playing Stadia on a on a cap network. You know what I'm saying? Like it, you can't have any data. If you do, you're gonna burn through your data caps. You know what I'm saying? Even if you put it in the lowest output settings. So if you like to play games like Destiny a lot and you play them every day, then Stadia is not for you if you have a cap network because it's gonna bog down your network and they're gonna throttle you, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta keep it real right there. If you play it a lot at home, if that's your intention to play it a lot at home, Stadia is not for you right now. Okay. Um, they do have a lower tier setting that doesn't take up a lot of data, but still, it's just I don't know. I'm just gonna say across the board, I don't know what people's data uh, limitations are how much they got up how much they got down when their isp throttles their data so i'm just going to go above and beyond and say if you got any caps at all my recommendations are you know this may not be for you that being said um the minimum to get good performance is 25 up and 25 down it's recommended to have 200 up and 200 down, mainly because if you got other stuff running in the house, it only makes sense. I, at one point, when I first got this, I only had 50 up and 50 down, and it ran fine for me. The only thing that I had to do was, you know, I would say the first five seconds when the game loaded, I'd have to wait again about five seconds for the assets to load, and then I was ready to go. I had no problems. Got that 60 frames per second, smooth gameplay, all that stuff. Across the board, Chromecast, anything. I went and just upped my internet service to a gig because I had a phenomenal deal that I, I just couldn't let pass. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, but I, I didn't need to, okay? Um, so there goes the myth about Stadia requires top-tier internet. What about Stadia has no exclusive content? Well, Again, this is an alpha stage. I'm not going to lie and say it's oozing with content, but we can take one particular platform and, and do a comparison there, and, and, and you be the judge of that. Because I will say that Stadia has exclusive content for more a more sought-after franchise, and you can even say a more played, franch, uh, played uh, franchise when you do a head-to-head -head comparison for 2019 games versus xbox yeah let, 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 let's let's do the comparison first and foremost destiny 2 shadow key but destiny 2 all together is a huge franchise and it's bigger than anything on xbox including gears 5 <laughs> and destiny 2 has an exclusive mode on stadia you know what I'm saying? That you can't get anywhere else. So there's an exclusive uh, mode there. And again, you know, it's Destiny 2 is a huge franchise. So that's a, that's a big win for Stadia, all right? But then let's do just raw numbers, all right? Uh, let's just do let's just do a comparison of who's playing what rather. I can bet you that more people are playing Darksiders Genesis which is on no other console and playing guilt which is nowhere else then they're playing crackdown <laughs> you know what i'm saying and crackdown is available not only on xbox but it's available on pc too i can guarantee you that in a, in a head to head matchup more people are playing guilt on stadia than crackdown and more people are playing dark siders genesis on stadia than playing crackdown all right period and crackdown is part of xbox game pass hmm imagine that <laughs> next myth stadia's business model is too expensive okay now i get it it can be costly to double dip for games at full retail at this early access period i get that but come 2020 when there's simultaneous releases on both on all of them like stadia xbox and playstation you know what i'm saying you're gonna pay with stadia you're gonna get you can either pay zero for a subscription and play like up to 60 dollars for a game right if you want the 1080p maximum option 
or you pay $10 for the subscription and you pay um, up to $60 for the game if you want the 4K60 option. So I beg to ask everybody listening to this, how is that any different than what you pay for Xbox Live or PSN Plus right now? You know what I'm saying? And like all the other services, you get bigger discounts when you're part of the sub uh, service. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're part of Stadia Pro, you get deeper discounts. So again, I don't get what the difference is. All right. So that's let's dismiss that myth that it's more expensive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Than the other platforms. It's you're dealing with the same thing. And lastly, the big question is. Who is Stadia for? I hear this a lot. Stadia's for nobody. It makes no sense for anybody. Who would want to get this? Nobody's repping Stadia MM2K. You're the only one doing it. And when I tell them to go to even Twitter, where a lot of my Stadian brethren and sisters have ran away from, they've run away from the toxicity of Twitter and they've gone to Reddit to just chat amongst themselves. But even when you go to hashtag Stadia in the search, You'll see who's all optimistic in, in playing Stadia, opposed to just doing regular Stadia. All the people that are optimistic about Stadia, they do hashtag Stadia. The people that want to dog it out for clicks and for attention, you know what I'm saying? To belong, they just type Stadia, right? But even at that, right now, it's just for the tech enthusiasts that want to be the first to experience this phenomenal tech up front. In 2020, it becomes a very cost-efficient way to enjoy very stable, high-performing, up to 4K60 gaming, enjoy it on the go, and on any screen you want, and this is the biggest sell altogether for a fraction of the price. If you have good internet, simply good internet, you don't have any data caps, and you want to enjoy top-tier fidelity gaming, right? Better than what you're going to get for most of the consoles right now. 4K60 gaming, you know, in 2020. And you don't want to pay $500 for it, $400 for it. You can get this all in your hands for a measly $130. Or if 1080 is fine for you, you could get it just for the price of the game. And play it on your web browser. Play it on your Chromecast. Your Chromecast. You don't need to be a pro member to play it on Chromecast when it goes full retail in 2020. So that's what I, I, I want to beckon to everybody. Is that for a fraction of the price, you can heavily enjoy this, this, this platform. And you can get great performance, great gaming. And even on the in the worst optimal settings. Like Chrome Canary, look at this. Look at this. You're getting better performance, better fidelity than what you get on most of the consoles out there, okay? So don't believe the naysayers, okay? Even if you are one, be one that's best in truth and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Don't argue or debate from a place of ignorance. We won't help you do that. You know what I'm saying? So. I hope you enjoyed the information. I hope you all feel educated. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoy your 2020. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in this video in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you like what I had to say, you might enjoy what I have to say on my other platforms. Check me out with the Broadband Bullies. Check me out with the PNTS Network. Check me out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture. Where we highlight hardcore gaming, hardcore anime, and hardcore cinema which includes martial arts and you can always check me here again on the stadium dosage so with that being said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day enjoy your 2020 enjoy your new year peace